Hello and welcome back to Egbert RC. This video will be a little bit different than my last videos. I didn't have much time last week so I did not film every step I made on the Hangar 9 Bronco. But of course I will show you the progress till now and I will explain all the steps I did. Also I did the maiden flight of the Hangar 9 Fokker D7. And I made a stupid mistake on the setup of that plane. But I will come back to that later. Let's start with the center wing. I finished the complete wiring of the center wing. I used premium servo wire from Powerbox. The connectors are from Hacker Motor Shop and they are called Click Connect. Because of the amount of cables that are needed for this plane, I want as less connectors as possible and I want them to lock them itself. The biggest connector has 20 pins so I can use only 3 connectors for the connection between the wing and the fuselage for all the servos, lights and the landing gear. Flap servo is installed and the hinges from the flaps are glued in place. Also the control rod is installed. The only thing left here is to attach the control rod to the servo. Connectors for the tail boom and the wing tip are connected. Only thing I need to do here is to fasten the wing tip connector to the wing. This is the right wing tip. Also here all the hinges are glued in place and the connector rod for the flap is attached. Uh, both servos are in place, so a couple of things left here. Uh, the connection between the flap servo and the control rod. And the control rod and control horn from the elevator. Uh, the aileron. Also I installed the lighting system. This system is from Unilight. I will show you the working system in the next video. The next one is the elevator. Also here the hinges are glued in place and the wiring is done. Uh, I decided to do the wiring a little bit different because there is only one elevator servo and there are five connectors between the servo and the receiver. So I decided to do two wires to the elevator servo. One via the right tail boom and the other one via the left one. So if one connection fails I still can control the elevator. So I have the same on the right and on the left. The servo, the control horn and rod still need to be installed. Also here there is an LED light. The cover is still missing. and it's not yet glued in place. The motor is installed. This is an Extreme Flight X-Power 30cc. The link to all the parts used in this project are in the description below this video. The wiring is almost done in the tail boom. The servo is installed and the servo rod is attached to the rudder. The hinges for the rudder are glued in place and it's all working. The gear doors and the landing gear is installed. <laughs> Things left to do here are uh, installing of the servo and connect them to the uh, landing gear doors. Also I still need to do the uh, completing of the wiring for the uh, gear door servos and for the motor and ESC. Uh, the fuselage is still complete empty except for the landing gear. The only thing I installed is the landing gear and the gear doors.
So that was the update of the OV10 Bronco from Hangar 9. Now back to the Fokker D7. Like I told you, I did something stupid with the setup of the Hangar 9 Fokker D7. This was the first ESC I installed. 120 amps uh, Mason light from Yeti model. The 120 amp is more than enough because the setup draw about 100 amp, so that is not a problem. But I used a 12S battery on this setup, and as you can see on the specs of the JT120 lights, the JT Mason 120, 120 amps, but the voltage 6 till 35 volts. And I used it on a 12S battery, so that's about 50 volts. So luckily I didn't damage anything and I ordered the JM130, Mason 130 from Jetty model. And this one is capable of uh, handling 12S battery LiPos. So this one is now in the Hangar 9 Fokker D7.